You know what's a great thing to do this time of year? Watch scary movies. I'm not the biggest scary movie buff, not like some of my friends, but I've seen a good chunk. The most suspenseful parts of these movies always comes with not knowing what's going to happen next. And this isn't just true in horror films, but really any movie or story we experience. The unknown events coming up are what drive us to keep watching. They create intrigue, and we keep guessing. Now, consider a movie or TV show that you love, one that you've introduced a friend to. How is it different to watch something when you already know what will happen, what comes next, what all the clues add up to? How does it change for you to watch this story unfold without the unknown, and yet someone else is experiencing it for the first time? This gives us just a tiny, tiny insight into what it must have been like to be God, Jesus, among the disciples, or even New Testament prophets like Paul telling the story of Jesus to others. These men knew the story and what was happening or would happen, and they needed to explain the important parts to those around them. One had the advantage of being an all-knowing God, and the other a man who lived after all of these events had occurred. Sure, it's all well and good that these things happened in the past and we know about them today. So how can we apply this in the present? We must remember that the same author is working on our stories that has worked on all those we read about in the gospel and hear about in our personal lives. God continues to be the author and creator of our story. And so, when we find ourselves in a scary or uncertain part, we have to remember to have faith and trust in the one who has watched us since the beginning, knows how everything will end, and chooses to spend time with us in the present. And that should bring us some much-needed comfort. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our life and the great things in it. Hold us tight when life gets scary and uncertain, and help us to remember that you are always there with us through it all. We ask this in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.